this is Dr. Lo, and then today I have Holly with me. And Holly, um, I know Holly from summer. Uh, she was in my online class. Yes. And I'm just so glad this semester <laughs> she came into my in-person class. And then I'll, when I see Holly, I'm very curious because she's like a non-traditional student, right? So do you want to introduce a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Holly. I am a stay-at-home mom of four kids. Uh -huh. I have tw boy-girl twins who uh -huh. are 14. Uh -huh. uh, eight-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter. Uh -huh. um, I've been married to my husband for oh my goodness, seventeen years now. Okay. I'm going to school to get my degree in addictions counseling. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And so now you're almost done. Right? I am. Hopefully, this coming uh, summer, spring summer, will be I will be done. Wow. See, so she says she have a four kids. Yes. Even have a twin. You know, I I'm twin myself, so I always. <laughs> interesting when people are trained. But then, how do you start to think about back to school? What, who give you the motivation and how they started? Because a lot of people, when they have kids, they may say, okay, now it's my kid's turn, now my turn, mm -hmm. so. Um, when my husband and I got married, he mm -hmm. was going to school for his master's degree. So one of us needed to have a job to get insurance. Oh. So I got a full-time job, that's why I didn't go on really to for other reasons as well, yeah. um, but I didn't go to school. I worked okay. full time yeah. to provide. To give the insurance. Yes, yes insurance. Uh -huh. And then um, once he graduated and we started having kids, mm -hmm. he was very, you know, I'm in a very lucky situation because he's a professor. Yeah. And he knows um, education is very important. Yes. So he was always there behind me, pushing me to go, yeah. um, applauding me. Yeah. And um, always being a big support, a uh, big supporter of me uh, yeah, to, to get to my degree. Yeah. Okay. In that time, is what when you have a first kid or second kid? Um, I started going, started taking classes part time. Yeah. Uh, when the kids, when my twins were two. Oh. Wow. So I've been going to school for a long time. Okay. I originally was going for um, nursing. Okay. Uh, and then um, I was getting ready to apply to the nursing program and I got pregnant with our son. Okay. And I just okay. put that all on hold. Okay. So the go back to school always there since yes. your first child. Yes. First two child is yes. two. Yes. Now they are 17. 14. 14. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So then uh, that is part time. And now are you full time or part time? I am part time. I'm taking three classes this semester, and then um, the second half of the fall, I'll be taking four classes. Okay. And I know that people, a lot of people, will be very curious. How do you manage your time? Because we know, as a woman, once we become mm -hmm. mother, usually kids the first. Yes. You know, and then when you need to have them, and then you need when you be a student. The teacher give you some expectation. Yes. You cannot say, oh, I'm the mom. Can I have less homework? Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you manage your time? Um, well, luckily, you know, back to my husband being yeah. an instructor, uh, yeah. being in academia, he yeah. really puts um, the importance of my schooling first. first. Mm -hmm. So um, if I need time to study or do my homework, yeah. He'll take the kids, no problem. You know, okay. he's right there on top of it. Yeah. Um, luckily, right now, my daughter, my youngest, is in preschool, so I do have some time during the days now oh, to get okay. my work done. Okay. Um, before what? Before what time you are yours? Three? Um, I drop her off at preschool at 12, yeah. and then I pick her up at 3. Oh. So I have a couple hours in the afternoon. A couple afternoon. hours. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then definitely in the evenings, once the kids are all settled in bed, which is around 8.30. Okay. Um, if I have to get posting done or homework done, that's when yeah. I really sit down and do that. It's just yeah. putting, making sure that, you know, I have schedules for everything. You know, making sure, like, the night before my kids go to school, I have yeah. their lunches prepped. I have everything ready to go. Okay. And, you know, my kids, my older kids help out with the, the housework. So, yeah. 
they all have chores that they have to get done as well. So I have a lot of help. Wow. So I have a lot of help. I'm lucky. Yeah. So all your kids know in mind is going to school. Yes. Yes. They can know. Mm -hmm. And they are the team player. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. How do you wash your brain that way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I got so lucky to have kids yeah. that were... Maybe they already see you study. Yeah, they, they do. Know. They have. They've seen me study. You know, I sit down and do my homework with them sometimes okay. when they sit down to do their homework. Yeah. So, you know, they, my kids know when they come home from school, they have a little bit of time to relax, but then they have to do their homework. And if they see mom doing their home, her homework, then they you just know. join you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So your home is, is a study home. Yes. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, when you study, when you are do your homework, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm kind of tell myself, say, it's my time for me, or for my kids, mm -hmm. or for my student. So do you have that, you know, situation that like you're doing your homework, but you ask your kids, they are not able to understand their homework, and they mm -hmm. need your help. Yes. How do you, and, but you really in the middle of your working for mm -hmm. your stuff, so how do you switch yourself? Um, well, I, 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 you know, I have to realize that their schooling is important too, and I want to instill into my kids yeah. good study habits. Yeah, okay. Good, you know. So if even if it's even if I'm in the middle of studying for my midterms yeah. or writing research papers, yeah. uh -huh. um, they're they do come before I do. Yeah. So okay. I, I do, you know, I want to make sure that they have all the tools that they need to succeed. So yeah. I you put them first. I do put them first. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you give us an example, like for in some way you sacrifice yourself mm -hmm. yeah. for them. Yes. But do don't all moms do that? Huh? <laughs> don't all moms do that? Yeah, so then, how do you balance? Because uh, for example, you may have a, a final exam, mm -hmm. final paper due, mm -hmm. but then they also have their final due, mm -hmm. and then you only have one nine, either for yourself or for them. So how do you, how do you persuade sales? Say okay, maybe I set aside mine for them, or how how do you do it? How do you handle it? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Um, I because sometimes when I especially when I have you in the summer, mm -hmm. then because from your introduction I noticed you have a kid. Mm -hmm. And then my mind is that okay, in especially that only one week, mm -hmm. right? And then I kind of like, wow, how can you manage your time? This time maybe your family want to go vacation. Yes. But your your homework. Yes. So mm -hmm. how do you? Well, see, actually, we did go on vacation, so I didn't take any classes while we went on okay. vacation. The beginning of the summer, we went okay. on vacation. Okay. And I knew there was gonna be a lot of running around and a lot of time needed to be spent with the the family, so I didn't. I didn't take any classes, so okay. I put so that you already arranged the time yes. for the family. So yeah, I mean, my, I will say that I usually sacrifice my time for them. For them, okay. But if that means I have to stay up till you know one, two o'clock in the morning getting my work done, I okay. get it done because okay. I don't like not getting my stuff turned in, and I would rather turn it in late, late, and get some points knocked off than not turn it in at all. You would rather sacrifice your sleep, yes, all your time. Yep. So you get them them first, mm -hmm. and then everything settled down. They all sleep, mm -hmm. and you say, "Okay, now me." Yes, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Wow. And then is that your body able to handle it? No. <laughs> no. no. No, I usually pay for it the next day when oh, I'm so exhausted tired. and tired and have to get the kids up and ready for school. Okay. And take them to school. So yeah. 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 Yeah, so then are you feel that worthy, you know, mm -hmm. to, to work for both sides? Yes, I mean, I think it's important for my kids to see me doing this, um, that no matter what your age, no matter, you know, how high you, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be 41 when I graduate, so mm -hmm. it's never too late, Yeah, you know, know. never too late, never too late. <laughs> And even if, you know, we've, we've talked about it with the kids too, you know, if you 
pick a career and you get in to start doing it and you decide yeah. you don't like it, it's never too late to go back to school and change it. It's never too late. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important for them to see me Put working. In the yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that has instilled into them that, you know, if mom can do it with four kids, yeah. then I can do it yeah. and be younger and get it done. So. Yeah. Wow. So then also, you must be very, um, I think you are very committed mother mm -hmm. because then some parent, some fem, f, female woman may say, okay, if I want to go to school, then I, I don't want any more kids. But you didn't stop. You mm -hmm. just, you welcome them to join yep. your family. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your mind? <laughs> what um, do I say about you? Kids. Kids. If I could have more kids, I would have all the kids. Really? Yeah. So you let her kids. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, but no you, more kids. We're not having any more kids. What's What's your plan before you Before you get married? What to? Um, I wanted to be when I was younger. I wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, I especially wanted to be um like an elementary kindergarten mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to work with kids. Yeah. Um, and then when I was pregnant with my twins, yeah, I really loved my midwives yeah and that's why i wanted to go into nursing okay um so i forget where we're going with that yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> so we just left with kids yeah, kids yeah and, then and then then actually after i get my degree done I, we were looking at fostering as well wow so, yeah wow they are so lucky <laughs> you know for a mother wanted to have mm -hmm. more and so um when you are okay Quite often, you know, as a student, you may get frustrated mm -hmm. because, you know, some part of homework, the teachers say you are wrong, you need to redo it, and you're so stressful, and then your kids encounter the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you may kind of say, I need to take care of myself, I need to take care of you. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance yourself? Do you need somewhere to cool down or? Yeah. Um... Again, luckily, my husband's very understanding, yeah. and he can tell if I'm starting to get overwhelmed or yeah. stressed. So and he'll take over. He does. He steps in. He um, he's an excellent dad. He plays. You know, he takes the kids. Well, before the whole COVID thing, he would take okay. them places and go. Oh, yes. Yeah, do his hard work. Yep, yep, yep. He would take them out of the house and let me do my stuff. Now he just kind of does things with them, so I can get my work done. But wow. yeah. So, so the key is you need to have a husband <laughs> support you. Well, if you don't have a husband, it's good to have some kind of support system. Yeah. So, because what? Because when you guys are dating, you already keep saying schooling. You keep saying, say, I want school, I want mm -hmm. education. Um, when I was younger and out of high school, I was helping to support my family, my okay. mom and my brother and my okay. and stuff. So I was working a lot. Okay. And I didn't go to school. You don't have a chance to go to yeah. school. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that time you guys already know each other? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and he know you always have the dream and plan you want to go to school. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I always tell students, as a woman, don't tell your significant other, say, I don't need a school, mm -mm. I don't need a job. Then they will say, okay, you can just stay home. Yeah. Well. Because, true. I mean... Heaven forbid something were to ever happen to him, I don't want to be stuck and not be able to raise my kids. So yeah. I need to be able to support us if yeah. something were to happen to my husband. So yeah. 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 So what do you mean your mindset different when you see in the classroom and then when you are home? And then, you know, because we know it's good to switch our mindset mm -hmm. so we can be concentrated in different place. So can you ex describe a little bit about where What's your mind when you see in the class? You feel like you're like a student? Mm -hmm. um, I actually do better in seated classes than I do in online classes. Mm -hmm. I will admit to that. Um, because I do get distracted at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, talk about that distract. Yeah. You <laughs> I think people want to know. They don't yeah. want you to know you are perfect. You no, 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 no. Distract. I do get very distracted. Okay. How, 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 what happened? Like, give us a drink. Um, it's just having... In class, for, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to take, you know, uh, research in persons because I know I'm, I'm going to struggle with SPSS as we get going further, and I don't want to have to teach myself that. Having yeah. somebody do it is yeah. going not do it, but walk me, yeah, show me, walk me through yeah. it. Yeah. Um, 
helps keep me engaged and helps to keep it fresh in my mind. Yeah. Um, and then, so if you do this at home, yes. and then one of your kids is like the door. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll get, you know, you know, my, my daughter needs me. I'll do this later. Yeah. I'll do this later. Yeah. I'll do this later, you know. Um, or, and then I'll just, then it feels like it kind of stacks upon each other. And it's yeah. like, oh, I've already missed this assignment, so. Yeah. Then why bother? Why then? bother doing it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I do a lot better in person than I do online. So when you in classroom, do you feel you own yourself? Yes. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So you maybe appreciate that time more than the young kids. Uh, I think so. They yes. don't know what to mean distract. Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, and I'm sure they have distractions. They yeah. have work and yeah. sports and whatnot, but... They but, don't, yeah. But not a little kids. Not little in. kids who are depending on You said on that them. youngest one is how old? Now? Four. Four. That's so cute time. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, Cox, can you describe? So, for example, you are doing your homework, and then she come in and she said, Mom, and then you need to hold her, mm -hmm. and you do your homework. So, yes. how do you do? Hold them and do work. Um, yeah, she'll usually sit next to me. I'm either um, upstairs in our room or sitting at the dining room table. Those are the two places I do my work. Yeah. Um, so if I'm up in her room, she'll come and snuggle up next to me because I'll have my little desk. And yeah. So she'll snuggle next to me yeah. and uh, watch me do my work. Yeah. Which then after a while, she'll start like, well, what's this? Why are you doing uh, that? What's this? Yeah. So then I, I'll usually just stop what I'm doing and uh -huh. focus and on her. her. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then she'll be a while, then she'll feel good, and she'll walk away. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Usually. Mm -hmm. Usually. <laughs> right. What's the most difficult situation? During all these studies of mm. my time, what's the, what's the most difficult? Most difficult? Yeah. What had to have actually been when I was pregnant, but that's because I suffer from horrible morning sickness and couldn't even get out of bed, yeah. so my grades suffered then. Um, most difficult? Yeah. It is really just getting me time yeah. because I, you know, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, uh -huh. I'm a student. Yeah. And, and then know, there's me. You know? But I know you also do homeschooling. Yes. For your kids. Yes. Just yeah. the one right now. Just the one. She also do homeschooling. Yeah. She also teachers. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, yeah. Teacher, chef, me. Yeah. yeah. There's you, a, you are the cooker, right? Yes. The chef. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, so what's your typical day if you're not in the class? Uh-huh. What is the typical day looks like? Typical day is I get up, Um, I get my... How, how early do you get up? 640, 645, it's not okay. that bad. And ready for? Get my, um, my, get my oldest daughter up and I get my youngest son up. Yeah, um, and you start to cook breakfast. Yeah, breakfast, okay. I get their lunches done if I haven't already okay. prepped the night before. And I, if I have prepped, then I get him finished. Um, uh -huh. And I get my youngest son on the bus. Okay. And I drive my oldest daughter to high school. Yeah. Then I come home and it's playing with my youngest daughter. Okay, she's her. still home. She's still home, yeah. yeah. And then I get her ready, you know, whatever we're doing. Yeah. Um, we may go grocery shopping in the okay. mornings if we have to. Okay. And then I get her ready for school, walk her down to school. She goes to school at 12. Okay. And then I come home and then depending on if I have schoolwork to do, I work on that. If not, that's usually when I catch up on like housework, cleaning. Oh, okay. Um, Helping my son. Actually, I was at help, trying yeah. to help him with Excel before yeah. I came to class. Okay. So it all depends. And okay. then I go get her from preschool at three yeah. o'clock. Yeah. And my son gets dropped off at three thirty. Yeah. My daughter gets dropped off at three thirty. Yeah. So then it's you know seeing to them. How's their days at school? Wow. Looking through my son's schoolwork, yeah. seeing what he has for homework. Yeah. Um, getting them settled. And then helping my son with homework, starting dinner. Yeah. Dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finishing up my son's homework. Yeah. And then if I have my own homework, then yeah. starting on that, get yeah. the kids to bed, baths, showers, all that jazz. Wow. Yes. It's very busy. It is very busy. The whole day is mom, mom, yes. mom. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, so then compared with the day you had to come to school, how do you rearrange? Um, I just. It's basically the same. I dropped her off at 12, yeah. and my class starts at 12.30. So that's why you pick a class at 12.30? Yes. You don't mm -hmm. pick any class before 12.30? Mm -mm. 
Um, I do on Wednesday because it's because Steve doesn't have to work on Wednesday. But that's okay. another problem, okay. especially with um, TU yeah. being a non-traditional student. Yeah. It's hard to find classes that fit my schedule. Yeah. Um, I mean, they do have some evening classes. Yeah. Um, even in actually not even good for you. Mm -mm. I mean, I've I've taken a couple evening classes, but. Yeah. It's it's hard to find classes that fit my schedule, so I usually end up having to take online classes. Oh, so you you combination yeah mm -hmm. you you cannot find the, the right time that mm -hmm. you put online. Yep. So so far, how many online comp the the percentage you put most online? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, my the core classes for addictions yeah. are in person. Yeah, and they are in night time. Um, the ones with Dr. Dean are yeah. all at night, and then yeah. Dr. Appel are always on Wednesdays, so oh. I'm able to do those. Okay, so that yes. makes you a schedule. Yes, uh huh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then you still do good in the class. I do, yes. <laughs> actually, I, I really appreciate Holly in my class because she's concentrated. Yes. She wants to learn. I do. And when I say the stuff, she's like, hmm, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you know, and then, then make the teacher want to teach more. You know, so I'm glad I have class at 12.30. Oh, yes. <laughs> Match with your schedule. Yes. You know, because usually we don't think about those times. Mm -hmm. But with you, that is really the time to decide yeah. when, when if I you take take class, class or not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? So then you say you like in-person learning more than online class? I do like in-person more. I feel like I get more out of the class. I feel like I understand it more. Yeah. Um, but I think that's just my learning style. I know other people, you know, excel. Other stay-at-home moms excel with, you know, mm -hmm. online classes. I'm just not one of those people. That's just not how I work, learn yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if you have a choice, yes. good thing you are not too far away from campus. campus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can just come. Do you have any time like in the middle of your class, somebody, your husband or somebody calls and mm -hmm. kids is sick, mm -hmm. you have to go home? Um, I haven't had that happen yet. Um, last semester, mm -hmm. just as I was getting ready to walk into one of Dr. Appel's classes, yeah. my daughter called and said that there was a um, sewage leak at the middle school. Oh. And she wanted to come home, which I didn't blame her. You know, my most of my professors, I've had a lot, so yeah. Dr. Appel and yeah, Dr. Dean, they yeah. know, they know I've got kids and I'm just yeah. not. Yeah. Well, it's just like with you last yeah. week yeah. or the other week yeah. when my son was sick and I yeah. reached out to you, you were yeah. nice enough to just tell me to stay home you didn't want me to bring him into class. Yeah. So. <laughs> because, because we know you're a responsible yep. student. Yep. You miss class, you hurt more than us. <laughs> yeah, it does, it does. Because I told students, you still miss the class, it broke my heart. Yep. But I know for Holly, you don't come, not only it broke my heart, you broke your own it heart did. too. You, you really want to come. Yeah, because I do enjoy coming to class because it is kind of like my me time. I get away from being mom for a while yeah. and I get to be Holly. You feel yes. myself. Yes. yes. Yep. Wow. So you say your, tell us your future plan. Um, I'm hoping to graduate in the spring or summer depending on everything that's happening with COVID, if I can get my internship in. Okay. Um, and then I really would like to work in um, a facility. I would like to work in an inpatient facility wow. with um, people su uh, suffering from substance abuse disorder, substance yeah. use disorder. Yeah. But um, by that time, my daughter, my youngest, will be in kindergarten, so I, I, I should be able more time mm -hmm, to okay. to find like a full time position somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you sh you prepare when they all ready. Mm -hmm. Then you can have a more hardly yes to work in the field. Yep. Wow. Are you thinking about further education? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Steve's been very. He's like, you know, you can go and get your masters. Yeah. You can go in for your masters. Yeah. And I, I just keep saying, let me get my bachelor's yeah, in first, first. and then yeah, one step at a time. Yeah, and then we can maybe maybe I'll start taking one class at a time. Yeah, and start working on my masters. Yeah. But is this you say you you work before you marry, right? Mm -hmm. And so during all your marriage up to this point, you are a mom and student. Mm -hmm. um, I worked part-time here and there for a few places, but I never um, 
I never had a full time. Yeah, <laughs> I never had a full time position. Yeah, but you feel that you want to go back to the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Any any suggestion for for the woman like you if they think about school? Mm -hmm. What do you think they? How do they prepare themselves? You know, start off small. Don't don't overdo it when you first start going back. Mm -hmm. um, work yourself up start taking one or two classes and then when you start feeling comfortable and you start getting your own routine yeah um you can start adding on more and before the whole covid thing hit yeah it was always better for me to leave the house um like i would go sit at the coffee shops or whatever okay. to work um i get less distracted yeah if i'm at home yeah then there's the kids coming in yeah. or there's like oh i've got to fold this basket of laundry yeah. or i could go run the dishwasher really yeah. quick yeah so it's best if you can to get out of the house to go and yeah do your For work the me time yes <laughs> And then if you have to stay in your house to do your work, find a place that you get less distracted. And for me, I mean, for me, that's actually my dining room because the chairs are uncomfortable. So it forces me to do my work more. Whereas yeah. if I'm sitting up in my bedroom, I'm all comfy. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know, yeah. daydreaming away. Yeah. So finding a spot that's conducive for your learning. Yeah. And um, don't give up. I've had to retake a couple classes. And it's okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then as hard you say, you think you are doing yourself, but actually you set a good role model. Yeah. For your kids, say, hey, if I can study, if I keep going, then you can do. Exactly. It's even more powerful than you just tell them. Yep. What to do. Wow. But then if if they don't get husband support, what can they do? Um, reach out and hopefully you'll have family support or friends support you know if you've got somebody who can come over and keep an eye on the kids for a little bit mm -hmm. um, maybe somebody who's willing to come over and help out with housework so that's one less thing you don't have to do okay. um, just build yourself a support network of yeah. family or friends yeah do you know anybody in on campus that same situation as you do we have support group like I don't think there is. I, no. I mean, there is. There's a lady in one of my classes, but she's going for her masters. Okay. I'm usually the oldest person in my okay. class. Um, but yeah, I don't believe there's any groups or anything on campus for. Maybe that'll be your future job. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> help, help the mother to do the career development, yep. and you can open a house for. I think that'll be that'll be a good idea. I think it is. Yes. <laughs> yes. So many things. So when you think about counseling, that's similar to your nursing dream. Mm -hmm. How did they switch from nursing to counseling? The counseling? Yeah. Um, basically, it's because we moved to Tiffin. Okay. I was um, I was going to school for uh, nursing, nursing. Um, and then we moved. Yeah. And the closest nursing was Owens okay. Community College, okay. I think, which was too far away and it just okay. didn't work with our schedules. Okay. And you know, Steve was a professor, so I yeah. got to go to school for free. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Um, might as well. Might as well get yeah. what I can for free. Yeah. But um. But is those credit come? Yeah. Huh? You transfer. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I transferred in with a lot of credits, um, mm -hmm. a lot of biology credits, but yeah. Um, and then another my one of the main reasons why I went into um, addictions is my brother is an addict. So oh. I was seeing how he's had to deal with. Yeah. So now you 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 also study because you care about people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So when you when you study, people say you should you should learn something more money. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> No, yes, I know there's no money in counseling, but that's not why people go into it. Yeah, right? we go into it to help. Yeah. 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 Oh. See, if Hardy can do it, you can do it. So before we close, anything else you want to share with us? Um, no, I think we've covered it all. Just, you know, don't give up. Yeah. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Even if others around you don't believe in you. 
yeah. you know, believe in yourself to start off with. And if you do have children, remember that they're watching what you're doing and you're setting an example for them. So if you're trying to better your life and your situation, yeah. that's something that they're going to remember and take with them. Yeah. And make them as your team. Yes. Not your enemy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, honey. We well, learned thank you. so much yes. from you. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. having me. So if you anything you want hard you want to learn from Harley, you can leave the message in my channel and then I can ask Harley. <laughs> we still have a two months. Yes. Right? Yeah. November October, November. We still have two months. We still have a chance to ask her more questions. Yeah. Okay. And, and then even after that you're always free to reach out to me. Yes. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you. So bye bye. bye.